Hey guys, I'm Zach. Welcome to Hook Street Tailing. Here at Hooks, we cover all the bases. We do basic, standard interior and exterior details. If you just want your car washed and the inside cleaned out, we can take care of that. We specialize in deep paint corrections, making sure that it looks better than it did new, as good as we can possibly get your vehicle. We have also been trained and certified as a IGL Ceramics master installer. We're authorized for Kenzo, which is their top shelf coating. There's not many other people in this area that do ceramics much less are certified. We're proud of that and we do a lot of ceramic coatings. We have a good time with it. Welcome to United by Trucks. Today we're back at Hooks Detailing. Man, and we're working on Rick's SQR BDY 86C10. Hope you guys are ready for some awesome ceramic coating action. All right guys, so today we've got Rick's nice 86 square body. We're going to start things off with a, a good decontamination wash, start getting ready for the paint correction process to uh, prep this thing for some top shelf ceramic. We are getting ready to get started on the wash on Rick's truck. Very important. Got to have a grit guard in your buckets. Um, I'm not going to bother with a two bucket wash today because it's not necessary. We're going to be polishing the paint out. But you always want a grit guard in your bucket. Very, very important step in the process. And kind of a dumb question, but what is that for? This is so any grit that gets onto your wash mitt during the wash process, when you dip your mitt, you rub your mitt across the grit guard, all that grit comes off, falls down below it, doesn't recontaminate your wash mitt so that you're not causing any more marring or damage to the paint. Simple, but most people overlook it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I do. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I always pre-rinse before I even start to wash. That way any any big like road grime, little you know mud and stuff that gets kicked up by the tires, you blow it off the paint before you ever even touch it with a mitt. We got the, uh, got the Texas road grime knocked off of it now. Got a nice decon wash on it. Everything's clean. We're gonna get it pulled out now that it's dry. We'll get it pulled into the big bay and get started on some polish and try to get this paint to pop. Oh, let's do it. Little bit goes a long way. Totally. All right, so you can see we got Rick's truck pulled in the polishing compound bay. Zach's getting it all taped up to make sure he keeps all the additional residue off of any uh, seals, glass, bed liner, emblems. Just doing it right. Tomorrow morning when we get here, once all the compounding, polishing, and prep work is done, um, we'll come in, I'll have the truck ready in the booth. Uh, there'll be a preliminary wipe down we'll do with um, IGL Pre-Coat. Uh, it's basically just like you're getting it ready to paint. Uh, it ensures no compound polish, any previous waxes or anything like that gets left behind, leaves a perfectly clean surface for the coating to adhere to. Sweet. So tomorrow morning it'll be come in, wipe down, start coating. Went through the standard, Try a couple of different things, uh, see what the least aggressive method is that we can get the results we're looking for. Uh, pretty much settled on using a medium compound with a wool pad to start. Uh, we're cutting some dead paint off. Uh, we're not really looking for defect removal on this one. We're more after the gloss and protection from the coating. So starting off with a wool pad, a medium compound, and then we're going to a milder polish and a foam pad to help uh, bring the gloss out and remove any marring from the wool. So it looks like we're getting a lot of clarity out um, Should really pop once we get to coating on top of it too. Oh, no doubt and I think one of my favorite parts we were just talking about here and I'm unsure if the camera's really picking this up But this side of the hood has not been compounded polished anything like that this side has But you can really see it in the pinstripe here and 
it's hard to tell because of the way the lighting is. Actually, you can see it better right there. But you can see how chalky this pinstripe is. Look how vibrant that is. I mean, that's just, that's such a cool thing, man. And if you're doing this the right way, you can really have some dramatic results. And I think that's what, that's what we're gonna get today with you, Zach, isn't it? That's what we're after. Dramatic results, baby. That's what we're after. <laughs> We're working this thing down, um, starting to really see some nice gloss out of it. Um, like we talked about earlier, we started with a, a medium compound and a wool pad. I've been able to knock down some dry spray issues from my old repaint on the truck. It's flattening out a lot. If you can see the, the swirls here in the paint, that's from the, the cutting process with the wool pad and the compound. Once you move down this way a little bit, you can see those disappear and that's from a actually a lighter compound and then a polish with a foam pad to get the rest of the marring out of it and to bring the gloss out and the depth in the paint. Oh man, it's drastic. I think the she's difference. looking pretty good. It's looking amazing. <laughs> All right guys, so we are wrapping up day one because this is a two day process, particularly on this truck. We're wrapping up day one. Zach has just killed it on this thing. I mean, you guys have seen how well this paint is turning out. It's, it's really amazing. Zach, you happy with it, man? I'd give it two thumbs up if I had them. <laughs> I love it. But we're gonna be right back here in the morning. That's when the Kenzo, it's IGL Coatings Kenzo yes. is going on this truck. And we're gonna have Rick with us. So Rick wasn't with us today, but he'll be with us tomorrow. So we're gonna catch you guys then. And uh, yeah, we're pumped. This thing's turning out awesome. Check, check. Perfect. Checking it out, whether you're checking it out for the first time since we got the paint correction done. Damn. It's looking a little shinier this morning. It looks a lot shinier. Like I think when people see this, like they see this on camera and stuff, it looks it looks really good, like you know, on yeah. camera. But it, you know, never saw what the paint really was. Like it's old yeah. paint. Yeah. You know, camera but, looks like it's all solid. You know, yeah. you just clean yeah. the fresh paint out. But man, this so, this looks this looks great. Here. Wow. It's, a, it's a pretty big difference. Yeah. The, uh, this bed side right here is what really... Yeah, I know. What <laughs> you really me a picture. Us, like, just the way the red came to, yeah. came to life. The, the white is just so much more white. It really is. And a, a lot of the texture in that old paint laid down, too. Yeah. Because you could feel it, I mean, you know, like okay. with your hand, of course. And you, you can see it in the reflection under under strong light. You know, you can see there are spots that had like some uh, like dry spray in them from the old paint. Right. A lot of that laid down. Looks, looks good, man. <laughs> I'm fired up. Turned out better than you expected at this point. Yeah, yeah. Because there was just so much stuff in the paint. Yeah. Pop the hood. Oh, yeah. Oh. Zach, yeah. You guys are the... Yeah. I know, guys. I know. Spray and walk away. Spray and walk away is what he did. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like. Because it, like. it, like. it was dirty, dirty, dude. Dirty. That LFC trip made it even worse. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Wow. Dude. What I did? He literally did it looks presentable. spray the stuff on it and shut the hood. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome, it's, man. But it's, it's not super greasy. It's water-based. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, super yeah. greasy. If it's too shiny, all you got to do is take a rag and just lightly wipe it. That's crazy. It is crazy. Because like, that was like an afterthought kind of thing. I mean, not like, yeah. but it was like we were at the end of the day. He was like, oh, man, I need to, I need to go over this I, engine. I, I was like, I forgot to dress the engine, but. Yeah. Yeah. Heck, yeah. You want to get going on the ceramic coating situation? Yeah, man. All right. First things first, I got to do a wipe down uh, with an IPA based product just to make sure there's no polish residue left um, before we let the coating down. That way everything's clean and bond dry. Right. It does the same thing that wax does basically, but it does it a lot better and for a lot longer. Okay. Like old school carnival wax might last a month, yeah. maybe two. 
uh, the synthetic sealants that I use, I normally see five to six months. This coating is rated for five years. Oh, wow. And with it being this truck that's not beat on every day, sitting out in the elements, it, I mean, he may see eight, nine, ten years out of this coating. Oh, man. It should last a really long time on something that's not getting just constantly weathered and outside all the time. It just gets a... Uh... Texas Road Elements. That's oh, right. LST, baby. I probably, LST all over it. Yeah. Road trip cleanup would be a whole different ball game after this. Rick is uh, super impressed by the little ceramic chip. And this is all uh, IGL stuff? This is all IGL, yes. That is too cool. I can, you can coat carpet, fabric seats. Like I could spray this on the fabric it's seats in that Yukon. You spill a drink on it and it beads up and runs down into the I mean, crack and you shirts. wipe it up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Shirt up yeah. <laughs> that's coffee all over. The truck that was here yesterday. The Denali. The Denali. The Denali truck. He wanted, he bought a brand new truck, said I want, it was expensive. He said, I want everything on the truck coated inside and out. So we coated leather, carpet, the dash, door panels, console, the cup holders, the paint, the wheels. I mean, everything on the truck's coated. And it came back in for a maintenance wash last week and was covered in mud, inside and out. He builds houses for a living. Orange mud all over it. Took 20 minutes to do the exterior detail. Everything wow, just, just pressure out. washer, 90% of it just slides right off. That is sick. The you inside, the that. inside, man, the floor mats had mud all over them. Like Pick them up, perfect. spray them off, <laughs> done. It's ready to go. This is an old felt applicator that was used to apply Kenzo top coat. You can see the, the different coloration in the middle. This is an unused square of applicator. You can see how water behaves on it, soaks right in. Then you can see how water behaves on the ceramic coated applicator. Yeah, it's just sliding right off of it. We're uh, getting ready to put some IGL Kenzo base down, get the ceramic coating going. Hope y'all enjoy watching the process. Can you give us the highlights on the process? It's pretty simple actually. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like Mr. Miyagi said, it's wax on, wax off. <laughs> Base coat's down, everything's uh, installed, leveled, should be ready to go. We gotta give it a couple of hours to uh, cure out on the base and then we'll be ready to go with the next coat. Watch the gloss develop. What happens after that? It's basically more of the same. The top coat hardens a little harder than the base coat does. It chemically bonds to the base, which chemically bonds to the paint. And it's just stacking more layers for better protection and more gloss. Love it. Oh my gosh. No more dull. The window? You can see the dull right here. Just the just the vent the window. Oh, yeah. Oh, the vent window. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. Look at that. That's a spot that had not been touched. We'll, we'll, we'll do that one. <laughs> no, we gotta leave the one little you gotta leave an inch so we can roll yeah, around and contract. be like <laughs> It's like that's great and all just just do it. <laughs> and so what we're showing you here, obviously, if you hadn't figured this out yet, is that the ceramic coat, yes, is great for paint, great for body panels, but you're also getting to see how good it is on trim. And it's just yeah, it's expensive, but man, it's awesome. So in the grand scheme of things, I would believe that this would be far cheaper than the cost of labor, effort, and all that stuff of buffing it out over and over and over. And oh, over. absolutely. You know? Yeah. You, know, you can That's only a, buff so many times before you run out of paint, too. Yeah. So. yeah, this stuff's ready for, what, five years or something, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so this is infinitely going to be yeah, that's if it's sitting outside. Money saver. Right, right. right. That's something. Y'all didn't know Rocky here. <laughs> He's here. Up on you. He's here. Y'all better watch it. You're going to get a lot of life out of this. See <laughs> so that piece now with the X, now that it's been wiped off? Yeah. It's, it's just nice and dark and even. And even. It's not quality. It was all faded before. Right. Yep. As soon as I wipe these panels off, I'm going to go do the one on the other side because I don't think I did it. Now that the first coat has cured out all the way, we're getting ready to put the top coat on. Um, it's basically the same process. Apply, flash, level, let it cure, wait on all the gloss to come out. How long does the last step have to cure? Uh, it's, it has a minimum four hour cure time before exposure to the elements. To the elements. So if it's a nice sunny day, you're not worried about rain, you can still take right. the car before um, four hours. Most of the time I ask the customer to leave it overnight. Sure. After the coating's applied that way, 
I can guarantee that it's had more than ample time to cure and it's gonna be as hard as it can get before it leaves the shop. Yeah, that's awesome. But recommended manufacturer is four hours minimum cure. The gloss is coming out, folks. It's got it for sure. It has got it. It has definitely got it. Rick, how you feeling about it, buddy? Oh, I'm digging it. Are you? Yeah. Oh, it looks so sick. I <laughs> never expected it to come out this shiny. And the cool thing is, it doesn't look like clear. Yeah. <laughs> it's just deep and pretty. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get it out in the sun here in just a minute, so uh, you can really, really see. But look at all the reflection on the hood. You can clearly see the lights that are all around this paint booth. All right, guys, the curing process has ended. We're ready to show you guys what SQRBDY looks like with that IGL Coatings Kenzo ceramic coating. Man, it turned out killer. You guys ready to see it? Let's do this. All right, guys, we got it out here in the sun. Zach from Hooks Detailing, Rick, SQRBDY. Tell me what you guys think about this. Zach, how did it go? I'm uh, more than pleased with the process and the results. Got more out of it than I was hoping for. Uh, it came out very well. We got a lot of gloss out of the truck, which was mainly what we were after. We tried to preserve the paint that was still on the truck and bring out as much gloss as we could. I think we nailed it. I didn't know the truck could shine like this, honestly. I've had it detailed before, did whatever they did to it, and I'm like, okay, I guess it is what it is, until Zach got a hold of it, and <laughs> this is what it is. Like, it's, it's so know, dope, dude. And I love it. It's I love so it. dope. <laughs> Zach, thanks, man. Absolutely. Appreciate you putting up with the camera Absolutely. for the last two days, but if I may throw my opinion in here, the results speak for themselves, man. I yeah, mean, this truck just went to a different level. Yeah. It's now a different level, so. It's killer. Appreciate you guys it, both for letting me be a be, part of it. The fact that it's going to be that much easier to clean and everything too is going to be awesome, you know, with that with the coating. So that's that's rad. Yeah, man. As much as time as we spent on the road, you yeah. know, on, with a truck like this, you spend a lot of time cleaning it up. Yeah, we roll with this one. That's right. That's right. I love it. All right, guys. You've seen it here, right here on UBT. This is what ceramic coating, a quality ceramic coating job, can do for your patina C10, for your original paint or old repaint C10 with lots of character, you can still get these kind of results with a truck like that. So hope you've enjoyed this episode of United by Trucks. Definitely comment down below. Let us know what you think about the ceramic coating on Rick's truck. Definitely smash that thumbs up button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Cue the music.